Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. This is not as donators and we are back with a fresh new content. Have you ever wondered about the creepy black rotating circles in the space, the black holes? You must have been. What is a black hole? Why can't anything pass through it? What's on the other side of it? And what would happen if a person somehow got into a black hole? It's what this video is all about, so let's get started. Black holes are actually concentrated masses. In simple words, a black hole is a region in space where a lot of mass or matter has been squeezed. For this reason, the gravity pulls so much. In other words, a black hole is so dense that a small volume of it is massive enough to attract everything around it. Nothing close to it can escape its gravity. Now the question arises, how are black holes formed? The answer is quite simple. The black holes were formed in the early universe soon after the Big Bang. When the center of a massive star collapses in upon itself, a black hole is formed. More specifically, a stellar black hole. Now what causes a star to collapse? To answer that, we would need to know what a star actually is. A star is a large sphere of gas held together by its own gravity. A star's life is a constant struggle against its own gravity because the strong gravitational forces in the core of the star constantly try to cause the star to collapse. A star's core is very hot due to the heat provided by the nuclear reactions occurring in it. This heat causes the gas to be at a pressure high enough to work against the gravitational pull. At this stage, the gravity pulls the star inwards and the pressure outwards, and so the star remains in state of equilibrium. This equilibrium is called hydrostatic equilibrium. At some point, a star runs out of the fuel or materials needed for the nuclear reactions. Since these reactions were the main source of heat, so after the end of them, the star will collapse because no pressure will be generated in the gas to work against the gravitational pull. However, if the star is large enough, it can go through a series of less sufficient nuclear reactions to produce internal heat, but these reactions, the final source of heat, will not last longer and the star will collapse, forming the dense and massive black hole. Now the next question is, why can't anything pass through a black hole? Here an object needs to be faster than light to escape. It's the reason why scientists do not see what's on the other side of a black hole. Because any light that gets into a black hole can't come out. Since our sense of sight is because of light, that's why we cannot see the other side of a black hole. Even the black hole itself is not visible. Scientists aren't able to see black holes. However, they can only see the glowing gas around the black hole. Scientists have discovered black holes by analyzing their effects on nearby stars and glaciers. Now the next question that a curious person would definitely ask is that what would happen if somehow a person got into a black hole. Technically it's not possible because the nearest black hole is 1000 light years far. So even if a person travels with the speed of light, which is also impossible, he would need about a thousand year to reach black hole. But let's just consider you somehow managed to reach the nearest black hole. What would happen next? As you enter the black hole, your body will be subjected into a process called spaghettification. In astrophysics, spaghettification is the vertical stretching and horizontal compression of a body into long, thin and spaghetti-like structure. So it will be a good idea not to enter a black hole. Hope you enjoyed the video and understood everything about a black hole. If you did, then don't forget to subscribe our channel, like and share the video. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.